What's going on, everybody? Jay and Gills here. Oh, we got some camera issues already. Seven seconds into this video, and we got camera issues already. All right, there we go. We it's are... operator, not camera. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're at the Sauhegan River in Amherst today. We're going to be doing some trout fishing. We have a very, very low stream. Got some nice oh, flies. Yeah. Handmade by Gills here himself. If you guys haven't seen those on Instagram, definitely go check them out. They're all up there. Close-up views so you can see them all. Um... But yeah, it's about 9.30 in the morning. We got a lot of bug action going on. I doubt you guys can actually see that, but we're going to give a little bit of footage anyway. There's a little bit of rippling and stuff. So, it's real shallow. We guys will be able to see a little bit better when we get out there. Um, Brian, you yank some trout? Yeah. Or whatever else happens to bite? Yeah. So, let's do this. Nice. I'm rolling. Look at that little guy. No, it's a chub. Oh, it is a chub. Very cool nonetheless. Yep. Oop. I'm just trying to hold him up for... Oh. oh, there he goes. Little river chub, guys. Epic release. He just ran him on my legs a couple times. That is awesome, man. At least you know it was flashing over there now. Yeah. Decent catch. Heck yeah. Okay. All right, what we're doing now is we're going to take off from this part of the Salhegan and we're going to go to another part of the Salhegan that we know of. Technically, it's upriver. Jay knows it better. I used to fish this spot all the time, which catch trout and eat them there all the time, especially uh, brown trout and brookies. So, Two ones that I know are there definitely, and I know they stock all the other ones far, way farther up, miles up the river. Um, so hopefully this will be a good plethora of fish for us. So uh, we'll catch back up to you. We'll, <laughs> we'll catch back up with you guys. Oh, I should probably pull my shorts down, huh? Nah. People are gonna. Why don't think. you give them a little view? All right. This is what Gills looks like wading in a river. Look. This is what Gills looks like, um, flat fishing. -na 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 -na. <laughs> Pasty whites. Enough of the white legs. No trespassing. Well, I don't think we're gonna get through this part. We got another part we can try though, so we'll try there. All right, so now we're at a different part of the Salhegan. This is really nice. This is a lot more. Yeah, oh wow, this is crazy. They've only done this probably three times in the past. This fishing line right on my foot. Huh. I literally point over there on the other side. Do you guys see that house through the trees? Not the yellow one, but the one to the left. That window on the top used to be my ba my bedroom. <laughs> That's literally how close I used to live to this place. <laughs> so we're in Jay's old backyard here. Front yard, backyard, whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna try and hit up this pool over here. Yeah, right over there. A little bit. And then we'll continue. A few inches later. What is that? This could be more interesting than fishing. Dude, is that a pipe bomb? Is that a pipe bomb? I hope not. Dude, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. No. Walk up here and then come through right here. What is this thing? I mean, there's holes in it. So, there's that. 
That's a really old cinder block, too. What is this thing? Dude, I don't know what this thing is. Pipe. Looks like a pipe bomb. Yeah. It's got holes in it though. It's zip tied. It's got holes in it? Yeah. It might be a bait tool. Put bait in. With two ends on with, with two ends on it though? Huh? With two ends on it? What do you mean? There's two wires coming out of the top. Two wires? Yeah. Dude, come over here and look at this thing. I ain't coming over there. No, walk right over there. Oh, no, I know I can. I'm not though. No, I'm just pulling you off. Well, I already pulled it out of the water and not, nothing happened. It's a really old cement, like, concrete block. That's a really old block. Huh? It's a really old block. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they put it in here to stem on the old bridge and it just never went off. That could be a pipe bomb, guys. We're gonna walk away from that thing. With the safety of everybody. Alright, come on cars. I'm trying to film here. You hold the window if you want. No, it's alright. I'll just yell at the cars. Okay. Come on, cars. Come on. Hot dog. Come on. Alright, here we go. Alright guys, so Oh yeah, what was I doing? Alright. One of the stitches. So we were at the Sauhegan in Wilton. <laughs> we are going to go to another location. Um, well, we're gonna go get some food real quick. Oh yeah, we gotta go to we gotta eat. Stay tuned, guys, because we're not fly fishing after this. But we're going after something that was what four videos, five videos ago now, somewhere around there. We're going after the big ones, the big ones. So stay tuned, guys. The big ones. All right, guys, we're at Walmart. Go, this is turn. We're, oh yeah, Subway's over there. We're hitting Subway first. We're gonna. Um, get us something to eat and then I don't know it kind of looked like this turned into a Walmart challenge uh -oh. you know what I mean well, maybe not a challenge where there's a punishment but it's definitely gonna be a challenge because we're spending money at Walmart and we're going to get stuff to try to catch the mystery fish of the day from a few videos ago so we'll see how much we spend hopefully not much yeah I'm trying to keep it under 20, but I gotta buy some water shoes, so that's not gonna go included in this. But we're gonna get hooks, we're gonna get bait, and I think that's it, right? Hooks and bait. Yeah, I think that's all we need. I'm gonna do a Italian urban cheese bread with sweet onion, chicken teriyaki, and bacon and American cheese. Foot long. Yep. I wonder how loud it's gonna be. Twelve ninety five and the corn. Oh, drop that over there. Oh yeah. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. We stayed under our twenty dollar budget, so hopefully now we can go and catch some big fish. All right, guys. All natural chicken livers. So we're gonna throw some of this nasty stuff on and see what we can catch. If you guys don't recognize this place, I'm sorry for the audio being so crappy because of the highway up there, but this is where Jay and I were carp fishing last time. Um, the last time we were here, Alright guys, so I'm pulling out all the stops. We're gonna go with the chicken liver. Oh, here comes Jay now. That's perfect timing. <coughs> so the last time we were here, I caught a 10 pound carp right over there. And uh, there was a couple bass and some small panfish all throughout here too. So I'm gonna throw on some chicken liver. I don't know what Jay's working with. I think he's got a bread ball on there right now. So we're gonna throw these in and hope we catch something. A few moments later. All right, guys, this is what we get for not having the camera on. Jay already caught a fish. He's using a bread ball with a little bit of bait mate. Uh, I don't think it's a carp, maybe. Is it a long-eared sunfish? 
What is that thing? That, That's a panty. That's a big bluegill. That is one of the biggest panties I've seen, guys. Yeah. It's like a dark pumpkin seed. Nice. Okay. Well, we know there's life in the area then. All right. Let's see what the chicken liver does. I got something. Something just bit my line. There you go, bro. Catfish. Okay. <laughs> That's a good size cat. Yeah, it is. I gotta grab him by like this, right? So just you don't grab get him like a bass. I'm telling you, just grab him like a bass. I don't know where the hook went. Watch. I'm afraid, man. I never really catch catfish. It feels just like a bass mouth. Just a little bit sharper teeth. No, he bit you. Oh yeah. They don't like giving up the food, guy. They're like, no, it's mine. <coughs> Got the back of the hook out. Oh, I can see the back of the hook. Come on. Oh, little guy. There it is. He can eat the liver. He can have the liver. Ow. All right, so let me get him on camera here. Little catfish. Oops, sorry, Jay. No, you're good. Some chicken liver. Just a little guy. Was he a brown, brown bull? Nope. This is the white belly. This is ow. He just he loves Jay's finger. Oh yeah, look at his little crushing plates, guys. Oh yeah. It's like a bass, only it hurts a little more. Here you go, Gil. Grab him. Flip him. Sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah, it does. It's going to hurt Ow. a little. Yeah, see? You're like, ah! Ow! Yeah. They got a good clamping force. Imagine a big one. Dude! Imagine noodling. No! <laughs> well, thanks, little guy. There he goes. Dude, he bit me. Oh, yeah. No, like... Dude. No, look at my thumb. He, he drew blood. I know. A little butthead drew blood. Look at that, guy. He drew blood. That's the first catfish I've ever had bite me. I didn't know they bit that hard. Oh. Sweet. I'm ready for another. Got something. Nice. I got the lights still, so. I think it's a little, no. Same size. Another catfish. All right, tonight we're doing uh, perps and cats. That's soon. Look at that little guy. Oh, that's a cute little guy. That little guy? Yeah, that little guy. Yeah, you can you can keep the liver, bro. Okay? You can just keep the liver. I don't even want it back from that gullet. Point it out this way. Set it right on a rock or something, just point it right out this way. Got something. Another little catfish. Nice. I just chummed liver. Yeah, you did. Dude, how... It's soft, man. I know, but how did they put it on the hook is what I'm wondering at this point. How do you keep liver on a hook? Very carefully. You got something. Do you? Probably like that. Oh, he, oh, he came off.
And that is not how you let go of a catfish. Yeah. Huh? Nice. Is it? Yeah. Sure. Dude, that's a good fat cat. Yeah. That's an eating cat. There we go. I even get some of my liver back. <sighs> Another nice little catfish. He's bleeding a little bit, but he'll be okay. He'll be okay. What'd you do with that stupid piece of bread? Dude. Is it big, big? I'm not moving. It's not either. Yeah, I don't even I'm know what that the was. There. The line ran, I banged it, it jumped a tad, and then nothing. I must have just knocked it out on a rock. I feel bad. Maybe. I feel bad, guys. I know you can't see me. I feel bad. I just set the hook so hard on that thing. It was such a monster bite, though. Is it a good set? No, get your tongue out of the way. That's not fair. You got something? Oh shit, fish down. He's right next to your foot, so don't move. Oh, I got him. Nice cat, dude. Nice cat. Little cat, guys. Well, actually, a decent sized cat for up here. Yeah, it is. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but I barely had him by the whisker. That's Literally. a bigger cat than I've been catching. Ow! Ow! Nice cat. Catfish is really good. Um, especially the ones with the white bellies. Really? That. Oh yeah. If it's a yellow belly, they're no good eating. Only white bellies. Okay. Good to know.